let me get my glasses on. Hello, hello. I'm just a snap early here. I think I'm one minute early. Uh, I'm here for my part of the um, Sparkle Room Santa's Workshop. Uh, this is day two. I believe I'm the uh, I'm the fourth one up. I think I'm the fourth one. I'm mean, third or fourth. What doesn't matter. Uh, there's a few people ahead of me. I posted the link for you to join the group up above in the um, header of this. And they're going to be sharing me over very soon into the group. And I will get started. Um, what else can I tell you? Thank you for coming in. It's nice to see you and all of you that are going to be here on the replay. I'm excited that you are coming. I'm going to see if I can comment here and put some links because I'm afraid you guys are going to ask me. Yeah, there they are. Boom. So there are some comments that I just posted. Oh, can I pin them? I don't know. I'm here, here on my own. So I'm not. Yes, pin it. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm like, I'm like officially. Wow. Hi. Hello. Hello. So what time is it? Okay. I think, let me check my phone. What time is it? Uh, 2.30 on the dot. So hello. Yay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Are you all ready for this? <laughs> okay uh oh i always hate when i have to there we go okay so I, this way i've got a second phone here so i can see the comments because you guys are kind of far from me but hello hello and welcome to my um little bake shop uh i am mrs claus and i welcome all of you here um as mrs claus my bake shop is pretty close to the front office santa and the elves you will find in building two more towards the back of the warehouse where they create and then everything gets boxed up closer to me so it's not so noisy in here and I can kind of enjoy baking all of the treats for the elves and for Santa and that is my that's what we're going to do today now the reason why I'm not putting recipes in is because these are magic treats okay these treats um Santa and the elves and I know how to make these treats come to life so for you you are going to follow my directions and make these and these can hang on your tree and then when Santa comes to visit he can maybe pluck an ornament and turn it real like make a make a slice of cake here like it's fake but he has magic powers you know you know he has magic powers so he could turn this cake into a treat for himself so i am i have been making treats uh, obviously let me show you i've been quite busy let me see i can go farther this way there you go i've been making treats since probably august i think i'm getting them ready i'm, I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> but I'm trying to get them ready for the elves and then because when this season hits man they're like hungry all the time so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna make some treats I'm not gonna read your comments I'm gonna come back and answer I'll read what I can oh my gosh I see a bunch of hearts thank you whoever that was and I see hearts coming up and yay all the things so okay I'm Mrs. Claus I'm ready to get started so the first thing you're gonna need is some sponges about one inch thick and you're going to paint them. I have some brown paint here in my little tray. I've already painted these so that they can be drying, okay? And then you're gonna cut your sponges too. They're they're just square sponges. They don't have the scrubby, they're pink. Well, these this one's pink on both sides. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, I love you all so much. Wait till I tell Mr. Claus how nice you've all been to me. He's gonna be thrilled. Um, yeah, they better kick it in, right? And make a, a few more gifts for all of you nice people. So, okay. Um, so then what you're going to do is you're going to kind of measure, like get how your cake lays the best, you know, make sure it's all cut evenly. And then you're going to tape with painter's tape around the edges. Thank you for the hearts and the likes. And let me just take a moment and send you back some hearts from me. I love doing that. <laughs> They're not always good hearts, but I try. Okay, so then you're gonna paint um, paint your edges with a brown chocolate color, something that looks chocolate. And then we're going to get into our icing. Yum-o. Now, it's not really yummy, it just looks yummy. Um, this is actually fast and final uh, lightweight spackle. Any lightweight spackle, I know you're just gonna ask me, but any, it'll say lightweight, any lightweight. I've got a blue and white can, I've got this black and red can any spackle that you have and you just mix you just pour um i just scooped a bunch of co uh, not cocking drywall compound in here i'm gonna you may hear me call it mud you may hear me call it spackle you may hear me call it drywall compound it's all the same lightweight spackle okay i paint uh, truly i paint houses for a living <laughs> this is gloss in case you didn't know <laughs> and um anyway so 
uh, I, I call it all different things all day, but, but it's that lightweight spackle. And I just, I just filled this little tub. There's no measure. You guys, I've made several batches, trust me. And there's no measure. I poured a little bit of white, even though it dries white, I just poured a little bit of white. It seemed to make it a little more creamy and not so, um, fluffy okay if that makes sense so then you're going let me dip you down here so you guys can see just a little bit about what i'm doing um you're going to start spreading your icing icing it's not really icing but we're going to call it icing your drywall compound your lightweight spackle whatever you want to call it and then we're going to spread that on here this will be the bottom layer and I forgot to pay attention to which one really should be on the bottom, but we'll just go with this one right here. So we're spreading it on. Then we're going to, whoops, then we're going to set the next, let's see, I can pull, well, I'll just leave the tape on for now. Okay. Then we're going to, that looks good. Then we're going to layer up the next layer here. I'm trying to hurry. So you see, this is why I do it because you get messy. Um, I'm going to be showing you whipped cream for your hot chocolate cups or coffee or whatever you'd like whipped cream in. I'm going to show you brownies. I'm going to show you cupcakes and I'm going to show you cake pops and I'm going to show you um, popcorn. That's all of the elves and Santa's favorite treats. So that's mostly what you'll find here in the bake shop. Um, okay, so I'm going to lay these two down and then this last one, I thought I would save one and tape it with you guys. So here we go. How's everybody? You know what? These these glasses are just props. You really can't see through them. So you all know me. I can't see. Uh, well, you don't all know me, but the ones who follow me do. So you know I can't see nothing. <laughs> I can't see. So um, yeah, just trust me that I can't read your comments right now, but I will. I promise you when I'm done, I will go on here. Oops, I got a little bit on there. I will go on here and I will read all comments and I will answer all comments as long as Facebook doesn't shut me down, okay? I may only answer like the ones with questions. I might just like the ones that say hello, which I love when you do that, I love it. Um, but Facebook will shut you down if you comment on too many. And I have done quite a bit of commenting this morning. I did some antique shopping with my friend Julie yesterday and I was showing my friends that are on here what all I purchased. So um, there's that, okay. so. Let's take the tape off. Too big of a piece. Okay, and I want to show you, like, see how it cuts just a nice line? Um, I did, I told you I did a dot. I didn't mean to do that dot. I'm going to paint that real quick. So I still have my paint out. So I'm going, where's my brush? Here's my brush. I'm going to dip into that paint. Now, paint dries darker, so this paint looks a little bit lighter where that dot is, but it'll be fine. Okay, so there's the top piece. Let me take the tape off of this one. Okay, and let me get the tape off of this one. Now remember, these are called, you guys call them fake bakes, but for here at the North Pole, they really are treats for Santa and the elves. Um, they just turn on their magic powers. It's nice for me because I can, um, you know, I can go watch Yellowstone or do something like that that I might enjoy instead of being in the bakery the whole, you know, every single day. So there I'm just filling in where there might be a little piece missing. You know, us girls have a lot of shopping and things we like to do and we don't want to be in the kitchen every day. So when I'm in the mood, I come in and I whip up like enough for an army, literally. <laughs> so here's this part of the cake, okay? Then we're going to add our frosting onto the, whoop, onto the back of the cake okay so we're just doing this now listen you guys in all seriousness if you want to make these like for valentine's or birthday fake bakes or you know year round for your kitchen just change your paint color of your you could do strawberry cake with white icing you know just change your color of paints that you paint your sponges okay just in all being serious um and then you can you can uh, modify all of your treats that I'm going to show you here. Okay, so here's your cake. Now, um, for this one, I made. Oh, I'm going to show you something else. I forgot. I'm going to show you how to get coconut. Oh, maybe. Okay, should have had that off. Okay, so I made these sprinkles. 
um, the other day, and these are just green sprinkles. None of the food is real, nothing is real, okay? It's all magical. And then I'm gonna just put a faux cherry. Now this cherry I did buy on Etsy. You realize that um, the North Pole does have Wi-Fi and I do love me some Etsy shopping. So um, it's okay if Mrs. Claus does some shopping. The elves can't make everything, right? So, okay, then we're going to take some green uh, frosting here. And oh, I have the star tip and I'm just going to add and again, it's not frosting, it's drywall compound, and I used green paint and stirred it in, okay? So then we're just going to bloop, 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 like that, okay? And then we have a sweet little, maybe a little lopsided, but Santa never minds that. I always am all about what it looks like, and he's just like, oh, I don't care, I just wanna eat it. <laughs> so there you go, there is our cake. Let me put it, um, let, me, let me see here, let me move the cupcakes here. And I will just set it right here on this plate and you all can look at it that way, okay? And it would take, to be honest, it'll take um, a good day, probably a day, overnight, something like that to dry. Thank you for the hearts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, what are we gonna make? Okay, so I promised you about the coconut. Um, let's, let's, do a, let's do a green frosted um, cupcake here. Let's see, that's chocolate. Here's some green. Okay, I just mixed a little, I just poured a little bit of the drywall, didn't pour it, but I plopped it in there and made, used green icing, or green paint and made icing, okay? So let me wipe my white off. And then let's ice this cupcake with some green. So, oh, I forgot to tell you how to make the cupcakes. Gee, you need the recipe, right? Okay, the recipe is, oh shoot, it's in the other room for me making popcorn, oh shoot shoot uh okay the icing or the the cupcakes is just foam insulation the brand that i use is called good stuff uh you can get it at lowe's you can get it at hardware stores it comes in a tall can looks like hairspray girls and you shake it and it's got a, a like a, a nozzle i don't think my nozzle's here either and you just squirt a little bit and just remember that foam insulation will rise ask your husband what foam insulation is write that down foam insulation and that's what this is that's what we make all of our yummy cupcakes with here i'm telling you but magically they become whatever flavor the elves are looking for or santa okay so then you let that dry overnight okay then we frost with our green paint and um drywall compound mix okay and it really is a nice frosting consistency okay oh i have so much so much good stuff to share with you guys today i really really do if you're into baking and you want it to last <laughs> make this kind i tell you what i have been i have a little private group really my name is tammy um tammy neff and you're on my page if you're not in the sparkle room my page is called tammy loves vintage and I mostly do vintage things, but I have to tell you, I certainly enjoy doing this little craft. And um, I did it, I have a little group, I think we're allowed to talk about that, but I do have a little membership group. And I kind of gave the girls in there a sneak peek um, just because I was having too much fun creating without them. So they didn't see like everything, but they saw, they saw a lot of it. Um, so, okay, we have our green cupcake see now Santa likes the coconut the elves they don't care so much for coconut so um, I won't I won't put coconut on all of them just just for Santa um, okay here we go so this is my fake coconut you take a candle you take a grater this is just a, a, a vanilla I start say vanilla <laughs> a white candle and you literally just scrape it over your cheese grater Okay, and look, it just it just shaves it, and then I'm gonna get close and show you. Now, when you start messing with the wick, I don't go like that because of the wick, but the wick really stays to itself, and you'll be able to work your way around the candle. I'll show you. Um, you'll be able to work your way around the candle. Oh, I'm not there yet, but the wick string really stays intact. Um, I wasn't gonna shave a whole lot of this. You guys get the idea. The wick, well, here. The wick, there it is. The wick stays intact, see? And it just kind of, it doesn't want to be cut. So it just kind of works its way out of your way, which is nice. 
Okay, so that's how you make the coconut. Now let me clean this up. You know, I do like to keep a nice clean bakery. Santa does not like when it's messy. He likes everything neat and tidy. Okay, so then I add just a little bit of coconut to sprinkle on top. Now you may wanna just tap it just lightly so that it sticks. Um, it sticks, but it may not stick like, you know, you're gonna have this for years on your tree, maybe, if you like it. <laughs> Oh, I got one more thing to remember. And then what I did, I used these little screw eye hanger ha ha things. I don't know what they are. Uh, and I stick that down in my cupcake. Okay, down as far as I can anyway, down into the icing. And, oh, that's uh, they don't have deep, deep enough icing. There we go. Okay, and then you'll be able to hang it on your tree. Where's my knife? Just to fix that little hole I made. Here we go. Okay, and then you have a sweet little cupcake. Um, you can... If you want to decorate the top, I did buy these, okay? I did buy these. <laughs> these are from Hobby Lobby. But aren't they adorable and they're sparkly and they look like little tiny cookies? Um, don't tell Santa, but I bought them. Okay, and you stick that in there. And then you're going to have a yummy looking cupcake. I mean, I have a nice little tray started from today. See? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So there, I've showed you the coconut. What did I do with my lid? We've messed around with some green frosting. Um, let's see here. What else? Oh, the brownies. Let's do some brownies. Okay. So there's two different ways of doing the brownies. Um, what you need for a brownie is just the foam. This is the foam, floral foam, that you get wet. Uh, if you buy, like, plants that have real, you know, they get, get you can get it wet. It soaks up and it keeps your live flowers wet. This is the kind. Is it Oasis? I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. For some reason, that name just came to my mind. I'm not even sure that's right. All right, so I, again, I'm gonna use that brown paintbrush. And you literally are just going to paint your brownie here. Um, shoot, I'm, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. You paint the bottoms of the brownie. I'm sorry, I'm all excited. Forgive me, I'm all excited. Okay, you paint the bottoms, whoops. And the top, Sorry, 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 sorry. Hang on, hang on, let me, let me fix this. You guys, I hope you're all in the sparkle room and I do wanna take just a moment to thank Chris Hunter and um, Kathy DiDomenico for inviting me to be part of this um, fun day with all of you. Um, it's, an, it's an honor, it really is an honor. Uh, okay, so, I'm sorry. You paint the bottom because if you don't, this is what it looks like, okay? Then you ice or frost the top, okay? So we're going to take, oh shoot, not my paintbrush. <laughs> okay, all right, we got it together here. I was doing deep breathing things before we started. <laughs> just to be honest, where am I? Okay, so then you um, are just gonna ice this. Now, this is again, white drywall compound, lightweight spackle or whatever you want to call it, drywall mud, but it's the lightweight. That's the most important part. And I added brown paint, just this brown paint into this and stirred it until it looked chocolatey, okay? And see how it lays on there? So now um, my brownie looks like it is frost or iced, not frosted, but iced, okay? And I'm holding it with a toothpick just because I didn't know what else to hold it with, to be honest. And the toothpick kind of worked. So we're going with that. Um, I also want to give a quick shout out to the pink tree. Let me make sure. Yep, that's right. Pink tree. I When I had this idea of, um, you know, when you think Santa's workshop, you usually think, like I said, building two, clear at the other end. And I'm up by the office at the, um, at the North Pole. And so I'm a little separate area, really, of the, um, of the Santa's workshop. But I am still part of the Santa's workshop community. And, you know, Mrs. Claus sometimes gets left out because they always talk about the, um, the reindeer and Santa and the toys and all of that. But, you know, as a woman, as a wife, you all understand there's laundry, there's cleaning, there's cooking and all of the things. And Santa offered to bring in another cook to help me, but I don't want another cook in my kitchen. I like my kitchen how I like my kitchen and I like it done the way I like it. So that's when they discovered a way for me to be able to make these treats way months ahead of time and still have them be fresh whenever they wanted. So um, yeah, there's that little scoop for you. I bet you never knew that about the North Pole. 
Okay, so, so here is a brownie. It is finished bottom and top, but I don't ice the bottom because there's no reason to do that. And then you're just gonna stick it in a tray like to dry and you can put, um, well, let's see, let's just put, let's just decorate this out and finish it off. So we're just gonna put uh, a little dab of white and, and all I did was get a star tip disposable bag and stuff some of this white in here. I also stuffed a little bit of red. We'll just do a little red dollop. Just use red paint. You guys ask your questions. I will be answering you for a while. So no problem. Just ask your questions and I'm happy to answer. And then let's do, where did my sprinkles go? Right here. Oh, and I did. Oh, okay. I didn't put it on very good. Let's add just a few green sprinkles here to this one. So there you go. That's how you do a brownie. Okay. A frosted brownie. Now let me give you another little tiny tip about the brownies. When they dry, they are, so this one's done, like I did that one, except I didn't paint the bottom because I wanted you to see, thank you for all of the hearts. I'm seeing so many hearts, so many comments. If any of you uh, have crafting pages, please put your links here. That was so nice of Misty to think of that, and I love that too. So please put your links um, so that others can find you in case they didn't see you already, or maybe they didn't want to join the Sparkle Room, but they want to still see some crafty people. Um, we got some pretty crafty people in here, I gotta say. So, okay, this is a, a one that dried and see how it kind of looks dull it just doesn't look very tasty it looks kind of stale and then this one i added see the difference i added a clear coat to it so i did the clear coat before i added the icing and stuff but it's okay you guys get it but i and i can i can ice or clear coat around that so i just used um country chic paint clear coat you can use any clear coat you could probably even spray them but i really felt like when it dried the drywall compound pulled um, and it was chalk paint that i used so there was nothing to add shine so i did clear coat them and it looks much tastier if you can catch it in the light this one looks much tastier so just so you know that little trick and let's go ahead then and we'll decorate this one the opposite and I'll clear coat it later I'm not going to brush clear coat on here today um, and make you guys watch that that's you get it you see the difference you see what that does right we're all we're all big girls we got it we got it and if you have any questions just message me okay so there's that one so we put it in the little let me show you again I don't know if I showed you I think I did but we just stuck them in these little, this like a meat tray or styrofoam or whatever you have that might hold it up until it dries. Okay, let me wipe my knife off and we're gonna move on to the next thing here. Um, let's see. Okay, these brownies. Um, oh shoot, I didn't get any more toothpicks. I thought I had more toothpicks in here. Ah, I didn't. Okay, well we're gonna do our best we can. Ah, I thought I had everything I needed. Oh, sometimes, sometimes I just don't have it all together. Okay, so this is the sponge that you get at the store. They are, I believe, oh, I took them away. What did I do with my sponges? There's, oh, here they are. They're Scotch Bright. Uh, are they? Oh, no, these are just the cheap, um, no name brand. Okay, but these are what you use. And this is the thicker one, though. This is the neck, the thicker one. Okay, and what you're gonna do, see all of the holes and stuff? Let me show you something. Watch this, you guys. Watch this. La, 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 la. Mm -hmm. And when you do this too, you kind of want a, a yucky brush so you can jam it down in those holes or let it dry and then give it a really good look over because you're gonna see some pink spots or yellow spots or whatever color sponge you're using, okay? And then you're gonna paint like the whole thing. So let me show you. Look, well, there's pink right there. It looks like a brownie. See how a brownie would be airy and fluffy like that? I mean, I'm not kidding you. It looks exactly like a brownie. So that's, so you paint your little squares of sponges. So what I did was when I cut my cake slices, I saved the back pieces and cut squares and made my little brownie bites. So a brownie bite, I did not frost it or anything. I just left it like a plain brownie and I put the white with some sprinkles on there, okay? So there you go. Now, you may have a question, how are you making your sprinkles? Let me show you. You can buy sprinkles on Etsy like this, okay? 
These are fake sprinkles and the company is called Crystal Bay Designs. I bought that on Etsy and they're just like plastic clay. I don't know what they are, but they're fake sprinkles. Now, I thought, why can't you use real sprinkles? And one of the girls in my uh, membership group asked me the same thing. And so I did a little test. You cannot use um, real sprinkles. They bleed. The red and the green bleed out into the white frosting and it doesn't look good. Someone did recommend trying, um, trying, uh, what is it? Mm, like clear coat or spraying it with hairspray or something like that. I didn't mess with it. I'm just made my own. So you go by Sculpey Clay. It's this little, I'm, Amazon failed me this time. I needed red. They only brought me the green. The red's coming tomorrow, of course. Uh, so it's a little pack, a little packet, clear cellophane. It's Sculpey baked, you bake it clay. You take, this is called a clay extruder. It's $15 on Amazon. You take the very smallest holes that you can find. You screw the end on here. You stuff your clay in this tube. See, watch my finger, it's gonna go away. See, you stuff it in, stuff it in there like it's clay. You get it nice and full. You put this on, it pushes it out the end, okay? Then you, <laughs> then it finds the end of it, okay? And then you screw it down, okay? So I have a tube full of clay. Thank you for all of the hearts, friends. I just Let's just take a heartbreak right here. Right back at you, loves. I thank you so much for that. It's so sweet. Um, okay, I wish Santa could see this. He gets all the love. I wish he could see this right now and see how much you guys are loving on me. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, anyway, okay. So then you just do this and, it, and it's threaded. This is threaded. So as you keep spinning, it comes out, the clay comes out like spaghetti, okay? Then I laid it on the cookie sheet on parchment paper, okay? I just laid it out here with just the clay and I baked it. And then, um, and the, the, the uh, what, what did I do? I think I did 300 for like seven minutes, something like that. Um, all of the, all the directions. Honestly, I did all of this in much detail in my Tammy's Making group. You can find it at my website that's pinned at the bottom or at the top of my comments. Um, it's TammyLovesVintage.com and the group is called Tammy's Making. It's $15 a month. Usually we're doing vintage treasures. Um, we're creating things like that, but um, pulling things out of your you know, that grandma left you and you don't know what to do with. That's my thing. I love that. So um, anyway, that's just a real, that's a, what is that? An advertisement. There you go. We had our advertising break. So we're back. <laughs> we're back. So that's, so that's a quickie on the clay. I know. And then the, it comes out. Let me show you. So then I cut the little, uh, that's probably too much. I cut the little pieces like this and you get little tiny sprinkles. Okay. Or much easier a little more expensive, but much easier. Go to Etsy and buy yourself a pack of sprinkles. That's the best. That's the best and the easiest. Okay, so next up, let's, I still have some cupcakes here. We'll do a little bit if we have time. Um, next up, let's do, I saw Chris Hunter do this on her page and I was already deep in and it already kind of had this planned for today. So I'm gonna go ahead with it. And I my, my might be a little different, but basically it's the same idea. Um, I found this mug at Hobby Lobby and then I made the icing on top and added the little cookies and the straw. Okay. And it's really just a Christmas decoration. We could do tiny, tiny ones like this. These are just, um, these were either Hobby Lobby or, uh, these were Hobby Lobby. These were Dollar Tree. Okay. This gal gets out and shops. Yeah. I don't depend on the elves to make everything around here. Right. You know. Okay, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna measure your, uh, your, oh, I thought I, well, I think mine measured an inch and three quarters is what I think, doesn't matter. Uh, these came from Hobby Lobby, so I measured this part. I put it upside down and went, and just drew around it with a pin, you, you know what I mean, and made a circle. And then I cut the circle out and it comes to about an inch and three quarters. So that's how I did it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is to take your frosting and you're gonna want to paint the sides with your frosting, your drywall compound and paint. 
mixed together. And then I have no recipe for it, you guys. Lightweight spackle, lightweight drywall compound stuffed in here and stirred up with some paint. Um, if you don't, here's what you get. Let me show you the difference. Okay, this cup, well, you can see you, you can see his face. See the edge has that brown line? So you've got to do your edge. It's just kind of an important little detail to make it extra awesome. So you take your icing and you go around the edge and you do this with it. And I do it now before I do anything else, although it is, I'm finding awfully easy to hold it with the straw already done and let it dry. But okay, and then I'm just painting that. See how already, see how already it looks better from that to that, okay? Just the details, it's all in the details. Okay, and then you can just lay it on top of your little mugs, and then when someone comes and wants something, um, they can you can just pop this off, you know, just take it right off and make it. Or I ended up and tacked these on with hot glue. Um, I'm not going to use these, these are too little. Why bother hot chocolate with for about five drips? Nice for the little elves, but not enough for me. Okay, and and so that's how you finish this out. So I'm going to set that there to dry. And then you literally, so this is the bigger one for this one. And I've already, I went ahead and I did, I iced it all up, all the way around everywhere, okay? Then literally, you just take your bag, it's a disposable bag, and I use the star tips, and you start squeezing it, and you just think about whipped cream. And if you had that ready whip, you know, yes, we have ready whip at the North Pole. You use your ready whip but not really, it's really drywall compound. And then you just start creating your little, you know, pile of whipped cream. That's a little funky looking, but that's how Ready Whip is, right? It comes out every which way. And then um, it will sit on your cup. You're gonna take a straw and you're gonna cut it down to be shorter. Let's see, this one here might be a little bit longer. And then you're just gonna stick it down in while it's wet. And um, did I remember to add my hooks to all these things? <laughs> sure I'm gonna add a hook no I don't want a hook for my cup what am I talking about I'm good okay and then let's do some sprinkles on top of this okay so we're just gonna add some of these Etsy um, Etsy sprinkles just to make it cuter okay so there you go so these are I believe I got these larger cups that I don't know either Dollar Tree or Hobby I got one at Dollar Tree and one at Hobby Lobby I can't remember which one's which um, where do we put this? We'll just set this right here. Um, thank you to my friend Julie for letting me borrow her beautiful cake plates from her daughter's wedding. Um, I needed white cake plates to get everything up. Okay, so we'll do, I've got some, I've got enough to make more of these if we need to, but we'll, you know, I want to use my 45 minutes all up. So the next thing I want to show you, we're, we're scooting right along here, is cake pops. Now, with these cake pops, um, you use caulking, okay? Caulking, like this. <laughs> Paintable caulking is all you use. You add, um, you can just do white with a little bit of white paint. You can do green or you can do red. Oh, I just dropped the red, so we're not gonna do red. Um, and then here's my little platter of already done cake pops. Um, yeah. Oh. It was pretty. I, I'm sorry, it's not very pretty. I couldn't figure out a pretty way to do it. So I just put it on an old meat tray and covered it up with foam. But there are the um, the cake pops, okay? And I just found that I really like the color with the coconut, but I also kind of like this white one with the coconut, like a little snowball. So let me show you how to do it. Now let's make our table all pretty because if we have time, I'm gonna give you a close up. And if not, I'll just take a picture. My mother-in-law made this and it was perfect for the, um, for my table to hide my meat tray there. Okay, that's good enough. There you go. <laughs> oh, right, behind the scenes, behind the scenes stuff. Okay, so let's take, let's take some white. Well, well, I'll do, I'll whip out a white one real fast and then I'll whip out a green one. Oh, my brush has got dried soap in it. There we go. All right, so I'm using caulking and paint stirred together no recipe for it you guys dump some caulking in stir a little paint um, i would say more caulking than paint but that's about all i can tell you 
Um, you can go to the Pink Tree on YouTube. She does have a Facebook page, but I think she tends to do more on YouTube. She's adorable and her stuff is amazing. And that's where I got all of this insp inspiration after I decided I wanted to be Mrs. Claus. <laughs> so, okay, then we're going to put just, you just put some coconut on here. I seriously got, it was a, okay, back to me again. I came downstairs from getting ready, <laughs> walked in the kitchen, and I go, ta-da, to my husband. <laughs> he started laughing at me. <laughs> Broke my heart. <laughs> I'm like, do I look bad? Is this bad? He's like, no, it's just funny. <laughs> so, there you go. Support of, support, my supportive man there. <laughs> okay, so there's a white cake pop. I hope you guys don't think it's ridiculous. I was just really getting into it, right? I was just really getting into it. Okay, now let me show you. I used a skewer and I poked it into the styrofoam ball. These are inch and a half or inch and three quarter. Inch and three quarter maybe. Oh gosh, I forget. Something like that. You buy sucker sticks, just regular white sucker sticks and you stick them in and you wanna push a little bit extra, okay? And then let's do a green one here because the green, I'm. Okay, the green just shows up better with the coconut, I think. And then what I thought was, I would take my seam binding, you guys that follow me know about the vintage seam binding, and um, put little ribbons, and I just thought these would be really cute in your decor. Um, I'll be putting some of these in, I'm gonna have a live sale, I think on Tuesday with a lot of our vintage things and handmade things, um, sometime during the day, uh, maybe one o'clock-ish, I don't know, don't, don't hold me to it, please something like that. And I'll probably put some of this in there. Um, I've got so much of it, I'll probably put it on my website. But anyway, okay, there's what the green looks like, gives you a better view of it. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some here. And you guys, shame on me for not telling you this, but if you push your words to the side, you can see the project. I always hate watching it through the words because you can't see. But yeah, it, those of you that don't know that, you just push your words over and you're good to go. Okay, all right, so there is the green cake pop. Okay, I know I'm gonna get off here and say, oh, I totally forgot to show him something, but I don't know what. Um, okay, I'm still good on time. Okay, so let's put that away. You guys got that. All right, the next thing I wanna show you really quick. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. The next thing I quickly want to show you is let me make sure I did everything I wanted to. I've got, whoops, aw, sorry. I've got cupcakes, brownies, cake pops. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to show you. Wow, I did great, okay, so here we go. If you didn't catch my video the other night, since we are talking, ooh, where's my, <laughs> hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Since we are talking about fake food, I made, I made some fake popcorns to um, string onto your, uh, greenery on your mantle or onto your tree. I think it was a really, really awesome project. Oh shoot, I'm really getting tangled up here. Mm, I had it perfect on the chair. Let's see if I can break it free here. Ah, oh well, forget it. Um, oh, I'm getting it. So there's my needle. Okay, where do you wanna go? All right, so I'm sorry, technical difficulties here. You know, when you're on your own, for these things. These husbands that chip in really do make a big difference. Uh, <laughs> what a mess. There, yay, I did it. Yay, hearts for me. Okay, here we go. All right, so quickly, how I made this, I took, it's in the other room, so I can't really show you, but it's on my page, Tammy Loves Vintage. If you go to my page and look back, you will see how to do it. But I took that spray foam, that spray insulation, I took the long straw tube off and I just used the little short stumpy nozzle that's on the can and I squirted little dots all over, okay? All over my pan and they looked like this. It looked like that, okay? Then I took a pencil eraser, which of course I don't have one, but we'll just use, oh, let me see. I need, oh, here, well, 
here, this is a fat one. I'm gonna use the back of this. I just don't wanna push a hole in it or anything, but you, you mold your popcorn, get it? So the insulation becomes popcorn and you do that with it. And then I, I'm not gonna paint any because I have this already done, but I used a color called Brandy. It looks like this, just to give you an idea. And then I used metallic gold. This is just my pan from the other room because I've gotta finish these up. Okay, and I used a tiny little artist brush. I painted both colors. And then I strung it on with a needle. Now, yes, you can use dental floss or fishing line or all of the things. I don't care what you string it with. String it with whatever you want. I used double white thread. I, I pulled the length that I wanted and I doubled it up, pulled it again and tied a knot at the end. And you just poke the needle through this foam. I mean, it's no, it's easy. Look, let me show you. This, it just goes, it just slides right in. Boom, it's through. It's no big deal. I mean, it's no effort at all. It's just foam. Um, and then it looks like popcorn strung. So if you wanted to make it, like put it in a bowl and just make it look like a bowl of popcorn for your decor, you could put some red sprinkles on it or whatever you would like. But I think that is another great, um, a great little faux food tip that I really hadn't planned on doing here with you, but uh, my friend Julie thought it would be it would be nice for those that might be new and that might have missed my um, my video on my page. So let's knock out just a couple of these since I have two more to do and I have just a few minutes for anyone that may uh, have missed. And I'm sorry, I, I promise you I'm not ignoring you. I literally cannot read your, your comments with these glasses on and um, they're part of my costume. So I have to... Um, Oh, and we have to talk about my hair bow. <laughs> okay, I put my hair up in a bun. Oh, and I have blonde hair. What do you think? What do you think of the blonde hair? Mr. Claus kind of liked it. I told him I was tired of being gray, and so I decided to go blonde. So um, I pulled it up in the bun like I typically do, and my bonnet was clear. I'd left it in the bedroom, and I made it all the way to the warehouse and totally forgot to grab my bonnet. So I just quickly pulled my hair up there in the bathroom, and I took a piece of wrapping ribbon um, and tied tied my hair up real fast. So um, yeah, because we don't in the North Pole, we you know we live over where the houses are in the village, but the um, the workshop is, it's a pretty big, if you can imagine, it's a pretty big place. So um, I didn't wanna go all the way back to get my little hat. And um, so I hope you aren't all shocked that I have blonde hair. I just hope you're not shocked. Um, I may have to go back. Uh, the elves weren't sure, but Santa liked it. The elves were like, no, they didn't like it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I have another cupcake. I'm going to stick another one of these little fake um, candies that I got at Hobby Lobby in there. Um, oh, did I, do I have it deep? Yeah. Okay. And then I want to remember to put my hanger on it so that it could be hung onto a tree or whatever. Um, you know, you could hang it or wrap a bow or something like that. So, oh, and I need some sprinkles. Where's my sprinkles? Here they are. Let's sprinkle some sprinkles on this. Oops, and my cookie's falling back. I got to prop it back up. Hang on. Oh, now I push it too far forward, but you get the idea. Okay, and then there's some sprinkles on our little cupcake. Oh, come on. And um, let's see, how, what time is it? Oh, I'm still great. I have one more to do. Let's just do one more for fun. You want to do a different color? Um, oh, let's just stay with the white. We don't have time to mess with all that. So I'm using real cupcake papers, you guys, and I just put the spray foam in to be the cupcake. Um, I know I have people who ask, why do you repeat yourself? But people get on late, they don't catch all the details or they think they heard it and they would just wanna double check. So, I mean, I only had one lady say that, but oh, it's so hard to make everybody happy. I hope I'm making you all happy here today. Um, and I hope to be invited back again. Ooh, that was a pretty swirl. Look at that one. Mmm, yummy. So I'm out of cookies, but I do happen to have one cherry left. Oh, I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna leave that little swirl there to the side. Ha ha. Okay, and then we're gonna put our little hook. Let's see, what's the back? That looks thicker, so the, this will be the back. So the hook goes in, just if you wanna hang it on your tree. If you are just gonna make, I think these are adorable. These in the black and white especially, with no, I mean, they don't even need anything. And the pieces of cake, I was gonna show you guys that. Um, well, let me sprinkle this one out real quick. So I'm just gonna put some sprinkles on here. But honestly, like to put out in your decor for every day in your kitchen, I think they're adorable. So here we go. Here's our little platter of treats, or our little tray of treats. And, oh, 
did you hear that? Santa's coming. Oh my gosh. Did you hear that? Santa's coming. So I have his plate all ready to go. Here's what I'm feeding him today. <laughs> he loves sweets. That's why he has such a belly. I don't mind. Um, and then let me show you really quickly. It's almost time to go because he doesn't know I'm doing this. So let me just show you really quickly. I'll just hold my phone like this so you guys can see all of the treats. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I certainly love having all of the company. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me in my little bake shop. Um, I'm super excited to have met each and every one of you. Thanks again to Chris and Kathy for inviting me to be part of the Sparkle Room. And I just adore all of you. And I look forward to meeting everyone that's new here. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And yes, I think it's time for me to go. Um, if you have any questions, please post them here. I will certainly answer them all. We would love to see you in our little group called Tammy's Making. Um, the website link is in the comments uh, on Tammy Loves Vintage. And that's my page. And it's T. AMI. So, whew, we did it. <laughs> we did it. Yay. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day and yep, it's time to go. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. I think all of the ladies are going to be amazing and worth you sticking around to watch. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.